today we are going to talk home maintenance and today's topic is air filters and why you need to change your air filter right now okay so you're probably wondering what's the big deal with changing my air filter well it is kind of a big deal dirty air filters are the number one problem I find on home inspections every day the purpose of the air filter is to keep the air handler clean you don't want to have a bunch of uh, debris and particles and dust collecting on the inside of the a coil if that happens it can cause flow issues and from the flow issues you're going to start having system defects with your unit which means it's just not going to work as intended most people do not change their filters for a lot of different reasons most homeowners don't even know they have a filter okay so where is your filter located well the simplest way to find that is to uh, locate your thermostat where you turn on your heating and cooling typically you'll find it not too far from that area so if you check the ceiling above or maybe the wall uh, you might find it there as well sometimes the filter is going to be located underneath the furnace so you'd have to open the furnace closet door and at the very bottom of the furnace uh, should be a little uh, opening there and you can pull the filter in and out of that point there so this here is a ceiling return plenum where the filter is located you want to be careful when you're unlatching the two latches on this you want to make sure you're standing outside of it not under it because if it slips and you forget to catch it it could whack you in the head if you're standing under it slowly pull the filter out uh, replace it just make sure the arrow is pointed up towards the ceiling on the filter so if you look on your wall and you see this large grill you simply just release the latches typically there's only two just let the door open and you'll see the filter just pull the filter out and if you take a good look at the side of the filter you'll see that there's arrows pointing towards the unit and then there's going to be a you might even see the size of the filter on there if your air filter is located in the attic right at the furnace then you're never going to remember to change it because it's out of sight out of mind so if you have that situation you may want to consider calling an HVAC contractor and have them relocate your return filter inside the interior of the home where you can access it easily okay so now you got to decide what filter to buy but seriously, have you been to Home Depot or Lowe's lately? There's so many filters on those shelves. It's like walking down the cereal aisle at Ralph's. It's ridiculous how many filters there are to choose from. So let me try to make it a little simple for you. My advice is always get a cheaper, thinner filter and change it more often as opposed to putting in a high efficiency filter that may be labeled for catching you know, dust mites mold spores and all this other stuff um, I'm gonna lean on this side here going with the cheaper thinner filter and just changing it more often uh, the reason for that is if you have a really old furnace and you try putting one of these really thick filters on it it's probably gonna make the system work too hard and that's just not good for the system so nowadays we have delivery services for filters which I think is a great 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 service because you don't have to worry about thinking about changing the filter if you sign up for example on Amazon and you order a filter you can have the uh, subscribe and save option so it's li literally a subscription service where you just check off two, every two months or every three months send me a filter they send it to you, you get it in the mail, bam you just throw it in and you're good check the description below and I will have a link in there to order filters online so you can try the subscribe and save service with Amazon another note to keep in mind is if you have the wrong size filter you're defeating the purpose of having a filter if your filter is too small or too weak and it gets sucked up into the plenum it's not doing any good and all that particles and dust and everything gonna go right into that system and, and stick to that a coil which will eventually turn into heating and cooling issues the purpose of this video is just to remind you to change your filter nothing more nothing less it wasn't intended to break down every type of filter there is or anything like that just wanted to bring attention to the homeowner whether you own a home whether you rent a home you gotta change the filter 
if you want to maintain a, a good performing system throughout the winter and the summer. Because once again, if it's the dead of summer and it's 110 degrees out and your system fails, you're going to pay double for a service call to have it fixed. And it could be just a matter of changing your filter. As I always say, take care of your HVAC system or your HVAC system is going to take care of your wallet. So there's another type of filter out there called a smart filter. And this is one right here. I've actually purchased this one for my own house. I've never used one before and I have not come across this on any inspections. So I am just very curious about how this works. My understanding is you download an app to your phone and you sync it with this uh, little yellow device right here which faces inside the uh, plenum and then it tells you when the filter is dirty and it kind of gives you uh, weekly or daily readings on the condition of the filter. So I'm very curious about this. This is going to be for another video but I will let you know when that video is ready and I'll get it to you as soon as I can. All right, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll keep bringing these videos to you to try to help you maintain your home and educate you about your home.